This is problem number four from section 5.3. In this problem they, add, they say, if a vehicle averages 20 miles per hour on a 120 mile trip and then returns over the same 120 miles at the rate of 60 miles per hour, what is your average speed for the trip? Uh, give reasons for your answer. So first of all, let's take a look. We can say that we travel one way 120 miles and it takes uh, 20 miles per hour average speed. And we travel back that same way. And that would be 120 miles. But this time it took us 60 miles per hour average. So a few things I want to talk about just real quickly. First of all, we know if we take uh, a displacement equation, so let's just say y equals displacement, and we take the derivative of that, we end up with a velocity equation. And this is from section 3.4 that we did uh, a couple months ago. If we take the derivative of the velocity equation, so that's the double derivative of displacement, we get the acceleration equation. All right, let's use this knowledge along with the information given to actually go about filling in this stuff on the integral. So first of all, uh, let's think of a diagram here where we're taking uh, basically uh, velocity versus time. Or you can actually say that this would be like a um, yeah, sure, that's, that's fine. Let's do a velocity versus time. So the velocity versus time graph. Our velocity is maybe varying in here. We don't know what it's doing, but let's just say that it, uh, the graph looks something like this. Okay. Our integration has to be an integration of time. Remember, these, uh, these uh, numbers here represent x values. Well, when we're talking about uh, a trip, our x values are the time. Well, we start with a time of zero, and then we travel a certain amount of time. So we want to integrate some function uh, with respect to time. So we want to integrate it from a time of zero to a time of, well, let's see. Uh, we've got to figure out if we went 20 miles per hour on average, and we went 120 miles for the first part, we can do 120 miles divided by 20, and that would tell us that it took us six hours to get there. So we're actually integrating. This is like zero to six for our first part of the problem. We are going to integrate some function from uh, zero hours to six hours. Now, what function are we going to integrate? Well, we essentially, in order to get a, uh, a speed or an average speed, we can write the label as 20 miles over one hour we need to have some distance divided by a time. So our function, when we integrate, whatever function we integrate, that better give us a distance. Well, let's think about this. The function we're going to have to integrate is actually the velocity function. Because when we take the derivative of a displacement, we get velocity. When we take the derivative of velocity, we get acceleration. So the integral of acceleration will give you velocity, and the integral of velocity will give you displacement. So this function that's right here, this f of x, is actually our velocity equation. Because when we integrate our velocity equation, take the antiderivative of it, we'll get the displacement equation. And we want to evaluate that displacement equation from a time of 0 to a time of 6 hours so that it gives us our total miles gone. Now, we want to take the total miles gone and we want to... Uh, multiply that or divide it, however you want to think of it, but multiply that by uh, one-sixth. So we want to divide it by six hours. So we're going to integrate the velocity equation. So I'm going to mark, mark this here. This is the velocity equation. This is our total time spent driving one direction. And we want to multiply it by one over six hours. And when we do that, we're going to get an answer of 20 miles per hour. So that's the first part of this problem, is just being able to identify that uh, the time is 
what we're going to integrate for, with respect to, so 0 to 6, and uh, we're going to be multiplying by 1 over that 6 hours in order to get our average velocity. Now in the second part, they have you fill in boxes for the second part of this trip. And then they have uh, f of x, dx equals blank. Now we got to think really hard about the second part of this trip. First of all, 120 miles, you're going 60 miles per hour, that takes you two hours of time. So this is two hours. So total, we have gone now eight hours worth of driving. We've done six hours this way. We've done two hours back for eight hours total. So we want to integrate this from hour six to hour eight. Hour six to hour eight. I'm going to write that a little bit better. So this would be hour eight. So from hour six to hour eight. But the total time that I'm driving there I don't want to put one eighth or one sixth here. The total time I'm driving there is from six to eight, so that's a total of two. So I'm going to multiply my, remember this is the velocity function in here. I'm going to multiply my integration of the velocity, which would be displacement, by one half so that I can get my speed. Well, I know my speed over that time was 60 miles per hour. So for that second part, we are integrating from 6 to 8 because that's that specific portion of, of time. And we're going to multiply by 1 over 2 hours so that we end up with our 60 miles per hour average. And finally, the third part of this question they're going to ask you, they're going to say, okay, what was the total average? So what was the total average uh, speed? So the way I think of the total average speed is, I went 20 miles per hour for six hours, and then I went 60 miles per hour for two hours. So they're not evenly split. I can't just take 20 plus 60 and divide it by two and get my average. That way, if I did that, that would give me 40, but I didn't drive the same speed for the same amount of time. I didn't drive this speed for the same amount of time as I drove this speed. This amount of time that I drove this speed was six hours out of eight. So I can write that as six over eight a ratio times 20. And I wanna add that, because that'll be my average speed uh, driven for that amount of time. If I add that to my uh, two hours that I drove, uh, two hours out of eight that I drove at 60, that will tell me my actual average speed. Well, 6 eighths of 20 is 15. 2 eighths of 60 is 15 as well. So my total average speed is 30 miles per hour. And the reason I know that it's 30 miles per hour is because it's got to be closer to the 20 miles per hour uh, average speed because we spent a longer time at the 20 miles per hour speed. And that's the answer actually to the fourth question. They're going to ask you, uh, what's, uh, how do you know that this is correct? Well, I know this is correct because I look and I see that I went six hours at 20 miles per hour and I only went two at 60, so it's got to be closer to the 20 miles per hour average speed.